Well, my, my, am I a satisfied developer right now? I've done some really, like, exciting things this morning. I got the top hat to bounce. So it'll, it can, like, hit, uh, hit entities, damage them, and detect that it needs to bounce at that point. It can also bounce off the ground. If it detects that it ever goes beneath ground, it just bounces the top hat. So this is bouncing off of something that doesn't have a health component. These have health components, so it knows that it can damage them, and the top hat does damage them, and or the, the boomerang does damage them. Uh, I'm actually calling it the boomerang because I want it to have it be, to be different than the top hat. So the top hat was more of a song bringer thing. The boomerang is gonna be a wraith binder thing. So you can kind of customize your own boomerang and maybe the people will have different stuff. Um, so, but anyways, it also works like, check it out. So right here, we've got these new stairs that uh, go up at an angle and I'm bouncing the top hat off of them there because that's hitting below ground that's hitting you know a health component like we we're just talking about um also there's these new stairs these are pretty cool this took a little while last night to get this going i don't know why oh i already have blink but uh this is super cool to have this like um this is really neat because it links this player's base with um the first player's base that that's me and um and both players are kind of can make the choice at the beginning like hey am i going to go for that item and if you go for the item, you're probably going to run into an enemy right here because they're probably going to go for the item too. Who knows? But anyways, it should create some more points of contention in the map here. I'm also thinking of adding some uh, some stairs right here to make this a little bit more interesting. Actually, last night I accidentally had these crazy huge stairs right here. And it was really neat to climb to the top of them and see the whole battlegrounds um, from a different angle, especially with all these different... like heights and 3d dimensions going on with this new stairs here so that's fun um let's go look at uh some of the code for the top hat which is just um it's really mostly in the ai i created a speed i used to have a speed triangle which would basically ramp up the speed to a certain point and then hit the midpoint and ramp down the other way but now i've got a speed sign so it goes up to a certain speed and in a sign fashion and then it can also reset so here's where the two uh, speeds are being applied right this is the AI's behaviors and uh, this is when it's sallying forth when it's going forward it um, uses a cosine so that its value initially is really fast that's why when you throw it it starts out fast and the return uses a speed of sign so that it takes a while to build up so it feels really nice like how it's smoothly coming back so that's basically how it works and the speed sign reset was the key to making it bounce and look, look the momentum uh being killed when it hits something and then and it has to rebuild its speed at that point so let's look at those behaviors speed sign is just it has a special case it can reset itself otherwise it takes the elapsed which is like the lifetime of an ai component except that it can be reset. The lifetime is always counted upwards. The elapsed can be reset back to zero. And this, um, this of course, is used right here in speed sign. It resets its elapsed uh, whenever the AI, the behavior decides that it's time to do that. So then um, the way the sign works is basically just call, using sign to modify the speed factor of the move component. So the boomerang itself has a move component with the speed and all that and no gravity flag and then it also has the AI component with all its other stuff but uh yeah what was I trying to say here oh the speed factor basically yeah it's just about applying a speed factor so yeah that's um that's it for now man I'm this is uh, I'm really excited today to um oh actually let's do one more thing Let's show off the new AI too. I forgot about this. The AI can actually use the blink orb now and the boomerang. And um, they're just a lot smarter. Oh, they can flee as well. So this is pretty neat. The AI has a new flee mode um, where when they get scared, they're, they detect their hit points are less than yours or maybe their hit points are less than 50% of their own. Um, then they can use... Um, they can use the flea. Later they start fleeing. It's that guy's fleeing now. He's blinking and fleeing. 
and he's blinking away. And you can use the top hat too. Let's, let's use God mode to get ahead of him. Oh, see, there's using his shield. So the AI is getting a little bit smarter. This will be cool um, when they're really full featured. One real thing I need to work on with AI more is uh, the wraith mode. So once they turn into wraiths, actually the whole gameplay itself for wraiths is just really stupid right now. Um, you just wander around as like a ghost. You can you can hit people, but it's only like a sword like attack. Um, so I need to make that that combat while you're a wraith a lot more varied and that more interesting. But anyways, it's a lot more. Uh, fun with the AI at least blinking a little bit, sometimes fleeing instead of just Rochambeauing and like fighting till they die the whole time. They have, they're they a little bit smarter and they can flee sometimes, which is really, really helps their personality. So thanks for watching this video and uh, catch you next time.